Sorry about that, trying to get all the pieces together. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be here this evening with you and for the tremendous work that you do for our church. As Father pointed out, I wanted to introduce the individuals that are part of this presentation this evening. So there'll be different segments and also members of our implementation team. After myself, there'll be Tricia Frazier, followed by Deb Dillon, Jim DeFrancesco, Sister pointed out Robert Summer is diligently taking notes on our behalf, and Patrick Farragher. I'm using the slides to, entitled Disciples in Mission, just for everyone's information. On the second slide, it details the areas that are going to be covered in this segment. We will be looking at what is a collaborative, the role of the Finance Council, and how your role will be impacted in the collaborative model. Property management issues that you'll be facing and some assistance we have available for you. And then looking at the HR function and the role that you will play. I know for myself as I started down this path, I needed to understand what is a collaborative. It enabled me to, as a finance person to visualize the financial structure that resulted. So in defining a collaborative, it's separate parishes coming together, as Sister pointed out, under a common pastoral plan, focused on new evangelization. With new evangelization being the purpose, goal, strategy, perspective, context, from which your leadership roles need to be envisioned and approached. Each parish retains its identity and integrity. Each parish retains its name, its own assets, and the responsibility for its own financial obligations. A collaborative has a common staff that serves the parishes, the parishioners in the community, bringing them together in a central location or an office under a common payroll to integrate and share programs and services, each sharing in the costs. The collaborative model provides an opportunity to share resources, costs, and consolidate vendor services. This will give each parish an opportunity to hire staff positions that maybe they could not afford alone. Allow each parish to benefit from the economies of scale with vendors as you're con consolidating services and purchases. Sharing in costs and programs that financially may have been beyond your reach. A collaborative has representatives to advise the pastor on a single parish council and multiple finance councils. I'm going to let Father Mark um, talk later on in the presentation about the multiple finance councils. Also for me, a great way to determining what a collaborative was is making sure I understood what it is not. It's not a, a merger. There's no new parish formed. It's not a separate entity. It's not a superstructure above the parish. Now let's turn to your role as finance council in light of this definition. I can tell you through my work in the archdiocese, and I won't tell you how long that is, it has been evident that strong parishes financially have an active, engaged, functioning, strong finance council. Strong in the sense of the various levels of diverse expertise that it brings to the pastor. It is critical to sound management in the parish. So what does the role of the finance council do? It enables the pastor to effectively deal with the financial and temporal management of the parish. 
in bringing the knowledge of finance, law, business, accounting, and facilities, to name a few. It's a consultative body that provides advice to the pastor. You listen, share information, discuss, promote consensus while working through the issues and challenges you face through the transition as a collaborative. This consultation is at the very heart and core of the decision-making process. In the context of your role as, a, as the Finance Council, you need to understand the parish's mission, goals, people, and material resources. You need to be the driving force as lay leadership, proactively leading the transition to the collaborative model with the pastors, the staff, and the parishioners. And all the while, ensuring coordination, alignment, and cooperation with the pastoral council and the school board. Always keeping the mission, goals, and finances in sync. Now I'd like to turn it over to Tricia Frazier to delve a little bit deeper into the tasks as your role as a finance council.